Alright tout le monde, je suis Jess Henner. On se retrouve sur la suite de Red Dead Redemption 2. Donc là nous sommes à Saint-Denis. Et là je planifie aller voir euh, Sadie Adler. On continue nos petites quêtes. C'est parti. Je pense que j'ai rendu... Ok c'est bon, la rue est là. Hey, partner. Uh oh, mister. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Como Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. <laughs> We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Just pour voir euh, comment se faire pound. Ok. Come on. Reste qui est là avec ce chapeau là. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Calm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. C'est vrai, c'est Calm aussi que tu es là, le mari à Sadie, c'est vrai. Those fingers off those triggers because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I've missed the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? <laughs> On va se faire prendre comme d'habitude. Hey. All right. Good. Now. You see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. Ah, ils vont le sauver. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Ils planifient sauver Calm. Stay here. Don't do nothing. Ils planifient sauver Calm, c'est sûr. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Hmm. 
Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Ok, trois moyens de monter sur le toit. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Gallows, gallows, which way was it? Ok, j'ai pas le choix de sortir par là, je crois. Ouais. Oh merde. You Dutch. Today, justice catches up with him. As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence. These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. Il sera quand il sera pas libéré là. Là, il y a peur. We must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? La peur, man. Call Modrisco. May God, in His infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life. Oh no. A Sadie. You hear us? Take a shot on these old Driscolls. Oops, drop it down.
Ah, je vois pas bien. Euh... Ah, si je me trompe de bouton tout le temps. Ah. Ah, manqué. Ah, ils l'ont eu. Sadie, ST. Et voilà. Call, mon dieu, call. Il est finalement mort. Je pensais que ça aurait fini en guerre. Mais non, il a été pendu et on l'a vu. Il a eu peur, man. Il savait qu'il qu qu aurait, euh, euh, qu aurait été sauvé, mais ouais. Quelqu'un a compris ce qui se passait là. How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Oh, go, Mary. Mary. She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? Mary. My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you i hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years john and i hope by returning it to you i can finally be free goodbye oh mary ah oh, dude on avait eu une date avec mary la dernière fois puis elle était comme, viens avec moi, on va s'en aller, et puis tout, tu sais. Oh. On dirait que plus ça va, plus c'est plate. Là, on avait Mary, si c'était super cool. Là, tu sais, on avait été en date, on avait regardé un théâtre ensemble, puis tout. Puis. Elle, elle espérait qu'on aille la rejoindre. Finalement, ben, on a préféré rester avec Dutch. Puis là, ben, elle, ça y a brisé le cœur, puis tout. Puis c'est ça. Et voilà. Hey, Mary Beth. Ouais. Plus ça va, plus c'est triste Red Dead, je trouve. L'ambiance est rendue sad. Je sais pas, man. Je veux le donner à John. Je veux donner la bague à John. Puis à Abigail. Je suis sûr qu'il va la donner à John. You okay, friend? Never better. Dutch! 
You're breaking his heart. You know that. Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? No. <laughs> but I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear. They're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. Yo John, j'ai entendu John. Yo John, je te donne une bague pour toi et Abigail. Remember what I said up at the bridge. When the time comes, I will, because it's coming. Okay. Yes, I'll leave ah. you to it then. Okay. Bon, ben on va continuer les quêtes. Il y en a une qui était juste ici, on va continuer. Ah oh, bon, on a perdu Mary. Je trouve ça plate parce que ça allait bien entre nous deux, genre. En, en, en dernier, là. Puis Arthur, il y avait, il, il avait du fun, puis tout. Puis, en ce cas. Je I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> Charles, are you cool, man? Attends, je dois la brosser avant. Euh, le brosser, c'est rendu un gars, c'est vrai. Ben, pas que c'est rendu un gars, c'est parce que j'avais le même, euh, même cheval, sauf que c'était une jument. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for you doing okay? this, both of you. What is happening? You have already done Just so much. Make this place work, Pearson. For now. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. 
will be at the meeting and there's one person who knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. C'est qui Ah, il est là. Ok. Ouais, on se tient. Arrête de foncer dedans. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh... I'm sure they do. <coughs> Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Yeah. Keep breaking uh. peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Oh, il est malade ici. You okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's uh Rains fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing quite is a cough. the federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Arthur. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. Ma'am. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. 
Well, you know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. I got a shot. You son of a bitch. Let him go. You won't get away. This, yeah. Out this way. Come on. Watch out. Yeah. Get down. Coming after us. I can't shoot at these men. Yeah, 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 don't. Ah si je vais disparaître. Ben j'essaie de les tuer tabarnak là. Ça 
sort ton arme. Voyons, sort ton arme. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <coughs> are you okay? Well, yeah. never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <coughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. No. Oh. weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, 
Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Wow. J'aime ça parce qu'on parle puis tout, mais dans le fond d'attraper, moi je pensais qu'il aurait eu qu'il aurait attrapé dans le fond à l'île. Mais ça fait du sens parce que je me souviens avoir récolté de l'argent de quelqu'un. Puis il me cracher au visage, me tousser dessus avec il euh, y avait du sang qui est sorti. Ça fait longtemps là. Puis on l'a attrapé de là la tuberculose, man. De là, c'est une marde. Oh, Arthur, man. Bon. T'sais, Eddie est au camp. C'est qui, lui? Aigle qui vole. Ah, une autre mission d'aigle qui vole. Avec Dutch. Ah, je suis pas sûr, Dutch. Puis je me demande si on n'aurait pas fait l'émission avec la sœur puis les aider puis tout, si on aurait eu cette conversation-là. Vu que notre honneur, tu sais, à le monter. Ah, mais attends, là, j'ai une garde de site. Est-ce que je peux aller? Ouais, je vais faire ça à la place, ça va peut-être plus vite. Chou, là. Ok. Ah, ben, c'est pas tant. C'est pas si loin. <coughs> ouais. Arthur, il sait qu'il mourra, man. Il a peur. On a toute peur de la mort. On prétend qu'on n'a pas peur de mourir. Mais quand que la mort est proche, là... Ça change. Surtout quand tu le sais, là. Un peu comme Calm, tantôt. Il avait peur quand il a réalisé que... Il allait mourir pour de vrai. Là, j'ai plein d'argent, man. Puis on en donne à tout le monde. Mais le gars, il sait qu'il mourra, il s'en fout, là. Il va aider aux gens. Ah merde, je suis fourré. Je vais monter où? Ah non, pourquoi tu t'en vas là, épais? Ok, je peux juste m'aller là. Ah, c'est qui est buggy. Ah oui, il y a des bugs, j'ai vu des glitches. Chris, ça va bien noir, on voit rien. Ah, il me fait chier quand que le style de cheval, il marche de même. Pas capable de courir au moins jusqu'au camp. Since then, we've had folk drop like flies. Men I've ridden with for years, just dead, gone. Women and children, too. This ain't <laughs> nothing nice. Whole thing used to make some kind of sense, but now it feels like... Evening. We're waiting on a miracle or waiting to die. Did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. I mean, we've always had problems, but never like this. Okay, Abigail. Evening. Those folks in Blackwater, they was real mad. Bon, on va se coucher. Mais je pense qu'on va finir l'épisode là. Puis euh, on se retrouve pour la suite. À la prochaine. Ciao.